When I think about um, ending the tobacco epidemic, the importance of young people in that equation is really quite clear. Uh, the tobacco industry needs a steady stream of new smokers to initiate each year just to remain commercially viable. And young people, they, they face enormous uh, social pressures as they um, navigate secondary school and the transition to uh, adulthood, which um, honestly leaves them vulnerable and particularly susceptible to addiction. And this plays out in, in the data. We find that 90% of current smokers uh, began smoking by the age of 25 and 20%, um, one in five, began smoking uh, regularly by the age of 15. And what our study adds is just clear and consistent evidence uh, from across the globe that if you can prevent smoking initiation among adolescents and young adults, then there's just a very low likelihood that they would transition to become smokers later in life. And the fact that initiation occurs during this very narrow age window also actually provides a clear opportunity for intervention. So if we can focus efforts on ensuring that um, young people remain tobacco free through their mid 20s, then this will dramatically reduce smoking prevalence among the next generation. Um, and in my mind, this is the opportunity and the path that we can take to achieve a tobacco-free future.